Hello and welcome. Sean from Speedcast here again. I think it's useful to show the performance difference between the business antenna and the residential antenna. As we've previously seen, the business antenna being larger means that it has a higher gain than the residential antenna and the field of view increases from 110 degrees on the residential unit to 140 degrees towards the satellites on the business antenna. Both these improvements should mean four times greater service availability on the high performance kit. So on the business antenna, you also get 35% better visibility of satellites and improved GPS, IP56 weather rating versus IP54 on the residential antenna, better heat management, and that means you're gonna get three times faster speeds at temperatures above 35 degrees Celsius. And on the other extreme weather end, 1.7 times faster snowmelt capabilities. And you get higher priority traffic over the residential users too. I set up the business and residential antennas just a few meters apart outside our office here in Perth, each with a good view to the sky. To test the latency on both systems, I use a program called Ping Plotter to ping the DNS service quad one, and that was once every second. I'm showing you the 30 minute latency graph here. You can see at around 6.57 a.m. there was a significant outage on the residential antenna, whereas on the business antenna, there was no outage then. You can also see that there are more drops on the residential antenna versus that of the business system, both over the same 30 minute period. And then we can see average latency of around 70 milliseconds is the same for both systems. I like to use at least two different speed testers when I'm checking the speed of a satellite connection. Here's how the business system performed on nperf.com. And then here's how the business system performed on speedtest.net. Depending on when you run your speed test, you will get varying results. Starlink, like any typical home broadband connection, has a much higher download bandwidth than upload bandwidth. Remember, Starlink is a best effort internet service, currently with speeds for business between 100 to 350 megabits per second download and 10 to 50 megabits per second upload. Here's a comparison of the last seven tests on speedtest.net between the residential and the business antennas. So you can see the business service generally has a higher download speed with both systems having similar latency and upload speed. So for sites with a large number of users or the need for high availability, we recommend the high performance kit as part of a Speedcast managed service over the basic residential kit. I hope you found today's video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.